Hello. Today we will review the implementation of if true, if false. If you've been attentive, and I'm sure you have, you surely noticed that when I suggested examples for not, I said you could implement not, or, and, if true, if false. But in the solution, I never mentioned if true, if false. We'll solve this problem now. In effect, in Faro, conditions are messages. Here's an example. We have a weather class. Weather is raining. This means that if it rains, if it's true, I'll take my umbrella. If it's false, I'll take my sunglasses. With if true, if false, you see the two colons? This means they're keyword messages. The message if true, if false is a keyword message and it's sent to a Boolean instance. In reality, it is heavily optimized by the compiler and not really sent, but conceptually speaking, it is. So if you want to redefine the method if true, if false, you can do this in Faro. I'll explain the technique now. The if true, if false method is so important, and we need it to go so fast, that the function is not actually invoked. The compiler makes jumps in line instead, but for the purpose of this class, we'll see how it functions. I want you to propose an implementation. You know about blocks. You know what we did with true and false, and with or and not. You can do it with if true, if false. In sum, if my receiver is false, I return 5. And if my receiver is true, I return 3. Once again, we have objects, messages, and blocks. It's a bit repetitive, but that's the way it is. You remember that brackets freeze the execution of the expression they contain and that value kicks the execution of a frozen code. With this and not and or, you should be able to implement your conditions. Likewise, you should be able to implement if true, if false. I'll give you a few seconds to think. How is it implemented? In exactly the same manner as or and not. In the true class, I have a method called if true, if false and two arguments, one block for true and one block for false. What do I do? When I'm in the true block, I execute true. And when I'm in the false class, I have the same method with the same two arguments. But since I'm in the false class, I execute the false block. I have the Boolean's implementation. How does it work? Like this. When I send a message to my Boolean, which is in fact true. I send if true, do something true, or do something false. Then I look up if true, if false in the true class. It's right here. It says to execute the true block, so I do. Now I send the message b is a boolean, false. I send the message and look here. I find if true, if false. It says to execute the false block, and that's what I do. You cannot test this by putting a breakpoint in if true, if false. It's optimized and the system won't accept it. But what I do suggest you try is implement in the same manner. If false or if true. If true, a block 1. And if false, a block 2. Then implement them. Use a breakpoint and experiment. So what have we shown with this example? We saw that sending a message selects the right method. Here we decided to let the receiver decide its behavior. And we saw that brackets freeze computation. And that value forces the execution of a frozen code.